Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on my channel. I'm Resvik and today I'm gonna show you how you can get the bigger FOV or the Jesus config in Dead by Daylight for Steam and Epic Games. But before we go into the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my new channel named Eclipsed since my old account Resvik got deleted. So it will help me a lot if you would, if you would go right now and press that subscribe button and also clicking the bell and set on all so you can get the notifications when I'm posting a new video a new update on a tool or something since you subscribed you can now join a giveaway that we are hosting but if you want to join you have to get the subscriber role in our discord server so to join you want to go on my youtube channel subscribe with notifications all then Take a screenshot and prove that you are subscribed. Something like this. Then you want to join my Discord server. The link is gonna be the first one in the description. You have to pass the verify. You will get a DM from the bot and you have to complete a captcha and then we get a verified member role. After that, you want to go here to sub zone, go to sub proof. And right here, paste the screenshot you just got that proves you are subscribed. And we will give you the verify. As you can see here, this guy subscribed. He, he pressed the bell. He watched the video, probably pressed like as well. Then you can go to giveaway and drag here with this emoji. So you can have a chance to win the also, giveaway. Also, you might come for a download. So you want to go to the download channel. And here, it's my second Discord server. Eclipse downloads where you want to go and get the configs so we can start the tutorial. Okay, now that we have the configs installed, you want to extract it on your desktop, go and open the folder, go into configs, and here we have six files. Bigger FOV, well, it's obvious what it does, it increases your field of view so you can have a better perspective. This is very, very good as a survivor, but as killer as well. It will help you in loops. Dominator, aka the wall hack config. This is not an ESP. I will show you on the screen right now how it looks. It basically removes the walls and the textures and it generates them when you are very, very close to it. So if you want a real ESP, we have one on the server. You can see it right now on the screen, the details and the prices. You can also contact me if you want to buy it. Now going to the next config, we have here the Jesus config. This increases the red stain of the killer, so it's gonna be better in loops. This is a very, very great config for survivors, because uh, his red stain is really long and big. That's what she said. So you will see in which way is he coming from, if he's uh, moonwalking or stuff like that, or if he's trying to mind game. So it will give you a bit of advantage. Low end PC FPS optimizer. This is for the people who can't run Dead by Daylight properly on the normal settings, so I would really recommend you to use this one. It will remove some textures, so it's really helpful. Ultra Plus settings. I recommend this config if you have a really, really powerful PC, because even I cannot showcase it because, yeah, Ultra Plus settings. And unsupported by game PC FPS optimizer. This also removes textures, but a bit more of them. So if the gameplay might be a bit weird, you know why, but you will also gain some more FPS in game. I am gonna choose the bigger FOV for this tutorial. So we're gonna go rename. You want to remove bigger FOV and keep only engine.ini. All right, so after you did that, we're gonna go on to the second step. We want to go to our Windows search bar, type here run. And also make sure you go to percent app data percent and press OK. It will open this folder. You want to go back to app data, local, search for Dead by Daylight, saved, config. This is for Epic Games, so you want to go to e AGS. And then from this folder, we want to go back to the configs one and drag the engine.ini that we just renamed in here replace the file in the destination and this is pretty much all 
if you want to do it for Steam, the tutorial is pretty much the same. You go, you rename your file, you want to go here, type run, the same, go to percent app data percent. You want to go back to app data, local, dead by daylight, saved, config, windows now editor, and then when we are in the windows now editor folder, we go back to the configs one, we take the engine.ini, replace the file in the destination and that's now all. the tutorial is pretty much completed now i'm gonna start the game and show you that we have the increased fov as i said So we are in game right now and as you can see from the main screen it's a uh, increased FOV if I'm gonna go and play a survivor we can see here Claudette uh, and the whole screen it's bigger it's uh, it's another FOV don't forget if you want to get legacy to check the video in the description as you can see it's working properly and without any problem this works for steam and also epic games the tutorial is made for both platforms if you subscribe you have the chance to join and maybe win the giveaway that we are hosting i will show you details right there on the screen so if you are subscribed you have a chance to win and not only this giveaway because there are gonna be other because there are gonna be many other giveaways for subscribers, boosters and so on so join my discord server the link is right now on the screen and also the first one in the description anyway thank you so much for watching i was resvik and i will see you in the next one bye bye